Peter, and today I am joined by Jason Warwick and Lisa Fair, and my co-host uh, Jane Marie, who's <laughs> who's living with us here at uh, La Casa de Milagros. And uh, today we are going to be talking about some uh, upcoming events that we have in uh, 2018. We have um, Adventure into the Heart of Awakening, which is a retreat we have going on uh, from February the 2nd through to the 9th. And then there's uh, something else coming up. The Tabula Rasa Mystery School in September (laughs) next year at the monastery in Utah. And Lisa Fair is the director, so we thought we'd join with her first to ask a few questions about just the inspiration behind, or what is Tabula Rasa? What does that mean, Tabula Rasa Mystery School? What is it? Well, I was just showing uh, Jason because, um, yeah, Tabula Rasa is an empty slate, and I, and I feel like that's our living experience. It's not, uh, it's, it's the whole goal of A Course of Miracles, and Tabula Rasa is a complete beginning again, a newness. I loved this morning because I thought, oh, what's new? You know, like I'm going to be on the What's New show today. Mm -hmm. And I thought, oh my word, what's new? I'm new. We're new. This is new. We've never done this before. A new experience, uh, an aliveness. So uh, Tabla Rasa Mystery School is all about a direct experience, going into a direct experience in our relationship with God. So the mystery school really is an immersion. I just feel very, yeah, this morning I just feel so honored and so grateful to be able to present this school and this program. It's an invitation really for for immersing for 30 days in a very safe, loving environment and uh, really practically applying the development of trust and really being able to allow the mind to open and allow those blocks to come to the surface, the blocks of fear and doubt and unworthiness and shame and guilt. And it's very intimate, actually. It's a very intimate joining, like we're devoting our lives to those 30 days to 25 students. We actually have 18 students already enrolled. It's pretty exciting. And so we have seven slots still available. And uh, I just know that it's about, it's this tickle in your heart. You feel this tickle. I don't know why I'm feeling that, but that's what most of the students have told me is that, you know, they don't know what's going on. There's this nudge in the heart that is calling them to come to the school. And, and like they can't get it out of their mind. And it's like, I don't know what I'm doing, you know, and, and, but I have this call in my heart to, a, to deepening the relationship with God, really. It's really a new, it's spiritual psychotherapy and it's, uh, and it works. That's the miracle, mm-hmm. but it takes a lot of work and there is mind training that is necessary. And there's a power when we all come together with that devotion, the power of our minds, in that focus. I know that's how we live, but this is giving people an opportunity to just dive in for 30 days and then go home. My next question really is thinking about, it's such an intensive experience and it's 30 days and a lot of blocks are coming up and there's a lot of support for that. And then this is our second mystery school. The first one was just in May. Mm -hmm. And so at the end of that time, What happens to people? Yeah, well, it's beautiful because I've just been uh, actually looking at all the testimonials. So that's been really cool. Just really seeing the profound effect that it had on everyone. Just because just coming to the school, I always say just pressing the button Mm -hmm. is the beginning. (laughs) Right. You know, touching that button and and pressing send on the thing. They You can say that's the hardest part. You know, after that, it's like, oh, God. (laughs) Right, exactly. Like, oh, my God, what did I do? What's happening? And... You know, and just and understanding what's going on in the mind as we're coming closer to this awareness of the self, uh, you know, the the terror, the ego feels the threat. And so understanding what's actually happening. So for people, you know, just signing up is huge. And also just coming to the program is really huge. Just it's part of the process, like all these thoughts and beliefs, we're stepping out of our comfort zone and into the unknown together. And so one of the gifts that I've seen through these uh, testimonials 
was basically saying, you know, just all this emotions that came up and the safety that they felt. Mm -hmm. And also knowing, you know, about this development development of the relationship with the Holy Spirit, like it's always present. Mm -hmm. And that they'll take that home with them. Mm -hmm. Like they can they can go home knowing that it's just about getting present, getting so present and facing those obstacles that they kind of left just, I'm ready to go face these obstacles, mm -hmm. you know, and, and step into my life yeah. mm -hmm. with that with that inner knowing, you know, that you have it within you mm -hmm. and that it's very strong. Mm -hmm. So that's really kind of what the program does is strengthens mm -hmm. that awareness of the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. And you, um, I know there's, because it is such a deep journey doing this program too, but there is lots of support. Um, you'll be there and... Kirsten Buxton will be there, Francis Zhu, David Hoffmeister, Suzanne Sullivan, uh, Jenny Donner will be there. Who else is it? You well, and me and Jason. <laughs> Did you want to share anything, Jason? I know last at the May Mystery School, you did the virtual reality oh. session. So kind of curious about what sessions we have at yeah. Mystery School. Well, we like to keep that a mystery. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Maybe share. And it was since quite, you said it. It's quite spontaneous too. Last time, wasn't it? Like from day to day, it's like spirit was giving all the time what it was. That was well, that's what's so exciting about it because it is a mystery. We have no curriculum. We don't have any formulated curriculum. We have tons of tools that we have developed over the years through all kinds of things, mystical mind training, you know, and just movies, fun movies. But we're, it's really into these new ideas. So we're learning and being shown all the time too. That's what's so fun about it. Not like there's a plan. Yeah. Like we're all showing there up there together and really trusting the Holy Spirit's plan. And then it's being shown every day. That's what's so beautiful. It's 30 days of just opening up into this mystery. And then we all pray together really in a deep prayer to be shown. Mm -hmm. And it's miraculous. And and you get to look at all your control. And, and we also use projects. That's mm -hmm. something that we use. So we always look at people's skills to see what they have. Uh, that we can, we use the, the projects just to support you know, developing these relationships with each other, learning to communicate because our brother is our mirror. So we use these uh, projects and relationships just solely to be able to look at your own mind and, and, and bring that to the table. You know, we have set deep sessions where we're uh, removing the blocks. We have expression sessions, something that is very key is, is to be able to become transparent mm -hmm. and to allow those thoughts and beliefs to come to the surface and to really allow the Holy Spirit to heal. Mm -hmm. So we're not healing. The Holy Spirit's the healer. Mm. And it, it works. Mm. It's a miracle. Mm. i got to say about the setting too, because it's mm -hmm. at the monastery. And I think in terms of you know places to do deep healing, the monastery just feels like a giant cradle um, that's my, my picturing of it. You know, it's, it's this beautiful natural canyon. Um, you're just surrounded by wildlife, uh, chipmunks, uh, beautiful you know, trees. Uh, you have the strawberry river running through the canyon. So whilst, you know, this kind of deep undoing is happening, um, you can just be cradled in this beautiful, soft environment. So. <laughs> well, right, because I always tell people just the drive to the <laughs> monastery yeah, alone. It's, it's, awesome. yeah. it's expensive for everybody, actually, because like you're saying what's going to be there. Last year there was VR and we filmed a documentary, which was expensive for all of us. Like, okay, how's this? We weren't expecting that work? last year. So this year we don't, something's going to happen that we don't, <clears throat> we don't even know in advance. So oh, it'll just pop the whole mind. Anyway. It's very expansive. It's, it's really, if you want to expand your consciousness, really, uh, I feel so excited because because A Course in Miracles is a practical application. This is about really, st you know, removing these blocks. And this program, this school, is totally designed to support that. It, it, someone said it in the testimonial. I love that. They said they're polishing. It was a polishing of a rock, of a stone, and that the stone has been polished. So I know of no other program like that. I mean, we talk about non-dual and self-realization and A Course in Miracles is a direct path 
to self-realization. And there's work. You have to do work. Uh, lots of work. It's going to take, it's a full self-responsibility. But once you have those tools, there's a strength and a power in our mind that is new and fresh. And it's Christ. It's it's calling upon Christ and, and knowing that we have the helpers with us. And I just get so excited about because our life is, I mean, we're always in something new. It's and, and so, you know, most human beings are, are like trapped in their self-concepts and running their lives and working and they're on a schedule and they really fall into a routine and in their comfort zone. And this program is about really giving yourself the most adventurous gift of your life, really to step into timelessness, a timeless journey. And yeah, and I feel like I'm here. To, I'm, I'm, I, I, just, I just love holding my brother's hand through that. And I know that that's what we've done. We've held each other's hands and stepping through stuff that it's like, what, where are we going? We have no idea. Now, hold on tight. And it's scary, you know, and that's what's so beautiful about I do the interviews. And, uh, you know, it is scary. And that's why we need each other, like to remember that we're safe mm. and to be able to allow those thoughts of fear and doubt to come up and, and really see the miracle that they disappear as we come together. And yeah, so I, I just, I could, I go on hours talking about this. Well, if people are interested or sparked at all, we have uh, the website is nondualityonline.com yeah. for more information or to sign up. We'd love to see you. Yeah, that's right. Maybe we can talk a little bit about the um, Chapala retreat, venture into the heart of awakening. Can you share a bit about it or like uh, what the feeling is behind it and uh, the inspiration behind it? Yeah, I think the inspiration for me is that, you know, you can really get hooked on your past conditioning on how things are to be done. And just me saying yes to this and thinking that help or support would come in certain ways and seeing that it doesn't, but it comes in totally other ways that are better than anything that I've planned, just inspires me to keep being an inspiration and, and letting the Holy Spirit convince me over and over that that I'm behind you. You're not reliant on people. You're not reliant on, on anything. So I think that's kind of a theme for the whole week, really, for everybody that would come. It's really like with the mystery school, just following the tickle, if you feel it, and the spirit will support you getting here. And when you get here, there will be an undoing, just because you're in Mexican culture. You know, they're more advanced in terms of use of time. So <laughs> you can... <laughs> they're pretty out of time. <laughs> So we can rest in that, that's an advantage. You know, there's the warmth, which allows the mind to rest and relax in the heart of winter, if you're from Canada or the state. And um, yeah, it's kind of like the mystery school for me in the sense that I really don't know exactly what's gonna happen, but we have some ideas, like um, we know we have a temple, that's Escalapius down here, which has a Greek feel. Mm -hmm. And so I'm really attracted to taking everybody to this Greek springs, Greek hot tubs, Greek, where you just have 10 people per hot tub and you move around and just have deep joints like we did in the Peace House in the early mm. days. When you're just relaxed and you've got no pressure to <clears throat> wake up even, no pressure for enlightenment, no spiritual pressure, sometimes that's the best way to actually get in touch with the heart. It's when you're trying to wake up or you're trying to make something happen that you actually push away the very thing you're looking for. So this this is new for us because we've never done it, you know, in such a relaxed way with regards to different, you know, excursions mm. and going out and this. And fun stuff. Fun stuff. Mm -hmm. And so we're trusting the Holy Spirit's going to use that because we've gone through this 10 years of, it's about the depth. Let's make sure there's real focus. And, and now we are the depth so we can really time and space doesn't matter it can be used in a more flexible way this time <laughs> so where is it actually going to be held jason well the primary location is here at la casa but um we think that if a lot of people sign up which is possible that we might have to use uh, the monte carlo which is another location 10 minutes mm -hmm. five minutes drive 20 minutes walk away and then of course the hot tubs and the boat tour on the lake and mm -hmm. Hmm. The great thing about Chapala too, I guess, and Ahi Higgs, everything feels so close by. It's so easy to go from one place to another. 
And so we went and checked out the Monte Carlo the other day and it was just beautiful location. They had, you know, pools there and they had like event centers, which we might be doing talks at there. And then, but from there, it's so easy to get to La Casa de Milagros here and to, you know, visit, go on the boat rides and the hot springs. So it feels like everything's in walking, a lot of things in walking distance. Yeah. Pretty much everything except the boat and the hot tub. <laughs> yeah, the other, I think the major inspiration too for that was that this is a whole new move for us coming down here, that like coming to Jupiter, David would say. And so we want to share that feeling of landing on a new planet for a week with people that want to come mm. and just check out Jupiter and like the mystery school, go home after a week. There's no pressure. Don't think of it. Oh, what if I have to live there? So many people are like, oh, if I come, I'm never going to leave. So then they don't come at all. It's like, that's not a way to live. You know, you got to do the things in small steps that are inspiring and trust hmm. that your confidence will grow. Mm-hmm. So come for a week. Go home. <laughs> <laughs> that's what we like. Well, the whole thing is too, and I think that what you, we were talking about when you were, when we were in the inspiration up at the temple, just... You know, it's about people coming into a community vibe. Like, yeah, yeah. you know, it really is that feeling of community. And, you know, I never thought that I would live in community. That was never my plan. But just the gift of being together yeah. in this purpose. Yeah. We had one guy who just came down for a week. And he was used to a secluded, isolated life working on projects. And he came down and he said, I've never been around so many people that share the same purpose and devotion and only talk about awakening in the course. And you could just see his face. Mm. Yeah. He's just so lit up Yeah, the whole time. It's well, I think, you know, I'm, I, I've been in the community for seven years, but I've never been at a center before with so many course students all around who've been coming to attend things that we've been doing. And it just feels like there's such a rich course in Miracles community here. So even for people to be able to come and experience that and to mm. connect with others who are here and you know, to join with them and to join with us here at the center. Mm -hmm. I think it's really a beautiful opportunity just to join in the the joy of that. Mm. Mm. And we're going to have movie sessions too, I wanted to mention. So, uh, (laughs) everyone loves them. (laughs) We're going to have a movie day, a music day, a David day, meaning David might take you to his favorite mall and do a talk. (laughs) Eat some fries with David. (laughs) On his birthday, too. On his birthday. Oh, yeah. A boat tour day where we might have a dance. We're going to organize that today. Maybe a dance, a dinner, sunset cruise. Meet the local community. See the culture in the area. And, And as far as I know, the whole community is involved, meaning there'll be comings and goings of different Mm. elders to do talks and an elders panel any question you've ever wanted to ask we're going to have a panel what were the early days like what what was scary what did you love you know and so it might be possible that people do come and they love it here and there is an extended course of miracles community and they want to move or experience a longer time down here and you know will they have an opportunity to see how they can Get involved or just live nearby. Definitely. Within the week, you will have met everybody Mm -hmm. that can possibly help you with that. Mm -hmm. Great. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, guys. Thank you. That feels beautiful. And we do have a couple of websites um, to mention as well. So um, (laughs) if you want to find out more about Tabula Rasa Mystery School, we have the website nondualityonline.com where you can go to uh, sign up there and to mm. register. And um, we also have a um, Facebook page um, for if you want to find out more information about the retreat in Chapala. So if you go to facebook.com forward slash ACIM Mexico info, or you can just um, go into Facebook and search for ACIM Mexico info. And that's our page that we have um, for the goings on at the center here. So we'll be posting any of the latest information there. And uh, for also, if you want to sign up for the Chapala retreat, um, you can go directly to livingmiracles.org forward slash events, and you can sign up directly there and, and read what information we have there on the retreat. So thanks again, guys, for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I guess I did have one more thing too. So that's exciting things we have coming up in 2018. But I did also want to mention 
We're coming into the holiday season now. Mm. And we do also have um, our friends here have put together a beautiful compilation of resources. So if you want something to just kind of get involved with over the holiday season, it might be a gift you want to give to a loved one or a gift for yourself. But if you um, visit our Facebook page, uh, facebook.com forward slash Living Miracles Publications, or just um, search for Living Miracles Publications on Facebook, you will find our 2018 holiday season highlights um, special. And so what we have there is we have, uh, we have a page set up and on there you'll see that we have um, book specials going on there. We have uh, programs, some free, beautiful free programs there and um, also a list of our upcoming events as well. So I recommend going along and checking that out too. So thank you. <laughs> so beautiful, Peter. <laughs> Thanks so thank much, you guys. Both yeah. Jane Marie, Peter, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Beautiful. Thank you. Okay, and we look forward to seeing you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>